Hi, I'm John at the Wonder Mill. One of the most common questions we get is, will the Wonder Mill grind garbanzo beans? The answer is yes, it will. Now, one of the unique problems with garbanzo beans with most mills, um, and including the Wonder Mill, has been their unique shape. If you look at a garbanzo bean up close, what you're going to notice is that it is not perfectly round. It has all kinds of interesting uh, sides to it. And because of that, be garbanzo beans don't like to feed as smoothly as, for instance, popcorn or wheat or other, um, other beans, smooth beans. So the trick to doing garbanzo beans, the, there's two ways I'm going to show you how to do it. Now the first one is simply to do it by hand. And what you do to do it by hand is you take a handful of garbanzo beans, you turn on the mill, and then just drop a few in at a time as quickly as they'll go down. The trick is not to let them pile up because if you do, sometimes they don't like the feed. So let me just demonstrate this real quick. Turn on your mill. And then just keep dropping the beans in. And you can see very quickly I was able to do a whole handful, that was probably almost a cup of beans, very fast. The trick is, like I said, dumping the beans in just a few at a time so they don't pile up. If you'll do that, you'll have wonderful flour. Now, a lot of times people say, well, is there an, an easier way? Well, here's, a, here's another easy way that we found uh, to make a, a kind of a permanent solution to this so you don't have to hand hold all the beans. We found, uh, we're going to make what we call a garbanzo cup. Now this might look like something fancy. It's actually just a little plastic cup that we found in our cupboard. And if you notice, it's flexible. It's made out of soft plastic. You want to find an old cup in your cupboard, about this size. You don't want a great big cup um, that you can handle. And then what we're going to do to it is we're going to actually make a one half inch notch in the side of it. Now the easiest way we've found to do it, and you can discover your own way, is we've taken a pair of what we call side cutters. And on the side of the cup, I'm just going to use these little cutters. And I'll show you how easy this is. Make a little notch, uh, about a half inch wide, and you just notch out this plastic, cut off the extra, and what you end up with is a little notch, about a half inch opening. And then simply to, to, to make this work, what you're going to do is you're going to place it in the hopper, over the top of the hopper, and, and then you'll notice when it's flat on the, on the surface of the hopper, it leaves an opening. And then you're just going to pour the beans in and turn it back and forth, and you'll hear the beans going through one at a time. It's perfect. Very simple, very easy. And most of you have an old cup in your cupboard that you can use. So let me just show you how this works. It's super easy. I turn on the mill. I've got my uh, garbanzo cup in place. I dump in some beans. And you can dump in a full hopper if you want. And I simply turn it back and forth and watch the beans go down. I'm just, just twisting it. Okay. There we go. The garbanzo bean um, cup. Very easy to make, very inexpensive, and a great solution to milling really fresh, delicious garbanzo flour. In fact, let me just show you this. Garbanzo flour can be used for all kinds of things. If you look in there, that is very nutritious, fresh garbanzo flour. And you can make that at home and, uh, with your garbanzo cup, or you can feed them one at a time. We hope this helps you um, use your Wonder Mill more effectively. Thank you very much.